Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about a way that we can automatically file away our electronic documents just using their file name. And to do this, there's different ways to do this, but to do this we're going to use a tool called Hazel by a company called Noodlesoft. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Hazel to create some rules that watch a folder and any time that it finds a file in the folder with a certain file name we're going to have it move automatically to where we want it to go. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so the, let's say that we have a credit card bill that we receive every month. And what we want to do is we want to have it so that our MasterCard bill automatically gets filed away into this credit cards folder here. So what we're going to do is I have Hazel installed and it's up here on my menu bar. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to go open Hazel because we're going to create a new rule. And the Hazel window is open and ignore everything that's here for right now. But where I want you to focus is this folder section here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this folder to our folder section and that is telling Hazel to watch this folder. So I'm going to click on the plus here to add the folder. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go to this inbox folder here and I'm going to choose open. And you can see here now that we have our inbox folder there. And once we've added our folder to Hazel, what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule. And a rule is just a way of telling Hazel, hey, with this folder, I want you to do something. So I'm going to hit the plus and it brings up this window and you can think of this window in basically three different sections. First is a name and that's just something you use to refer to it. The second is the selection criteria. So that's this section here. So we're telling Hazel what we want to look for. And then the final section of a rule is the action we're telling Hazel what we want it to do when we find something that matches this criteria. So let's call our rule, and this can be anything that you want, I'm just going to call it move credit card. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our criteria. And you have a choice, you can have it look at, make it so that it will only run this rule if it matches all of the criteria, or you can choose it if it matches any of the criteria. So only one of these criteria. And you'll see what I mean by this in a second. I'm going to choose all because we only want it to move this file when it matches everything that I set out. And the first thing we want to do is I only want it to move PDFs. I don't want it to move anything else into my archive. So I'm going to choose kind here. And it's going to say kind is and we could have document to meet a whole bunch of different criteria, but in this case, I'm going to say PDF. So I only want Hazel to look at PDFs in this folder. And now I want to give it another criteria. So I'm going to hit this plus button here. And I'm going to say, we want the name, which is already already selected. And if we, if we leave it at is, it's going to exactly match the name. But in our case, we know that we want it to only match a piece of the name because we're going to be uh, we're going to be date stamping our file. So I'm going to say contains. And by the way, you can see there's a whole bunch of different criteria that it, it can do. It's incredibly flexible. In our case, we're just going to say contains. And I'm going to say dash Citibank underscore MasterCard. So what this is saying is Hazel only look at files that are PDFs and the name in it has to have Citibank underscore MasterCard. And that's it. We can get a lot fancier than that, but that's all we're going to worry about right now for the criteria. Next, we want it to, we want it to do something. And in our example, what we want this to do is we want it to move 
this, we want it to move that file to our credit cards folder here. So we already have move selected, but you can see here there's a ton of stuff we can do. In our case, we're just going to move it. And here we ch choose what folder we want to move it to. And in my case, we're going to go down to the other. And I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to go to the archive folder and here's my credit cards folder and I'm going to choose open. And that's it. That's our rule. We're going to look for PDFs with the name Citibank underscore MasterCard and we're going to move it to credit cards and we're going to hit OK. So you can see here now we have our move credit card rule. So I'm going to close this Hazel window and let's get it to run. Okay, so let's go into our credit cards folder here, and you can see it's empty. We don't have anything there. And let's say that this file here was our credit card bill. And you, if you remember, we, we told Hazel we only want to move this file if it has the name Citibank underscore MasterCard.pdf, and it's contains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type in the date. And let's say it's from last month. And I'm going to put dash Citibank underscore MasterCard. And you can see there's a P dot PDF there. So it's a PDF. And I'm going to hit Enter. And so we rename the file. And you see automatically Hazel has moved that file over to the credit cards folder. So it worked. So you can see that if you if you have a quick way to rename your files, and Hazel can do this as well, but that's for a different video, you can have Hazel watch your inbox folder, and as soon as you rename a file, it can automatically move it to where it needs to go. You don't have to move files around from place to place in, in the Finder. This is how to use Hazel to move your files. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.